Santa Fe Indian Market and I run into a motley crew here. Where's that war hoop? Santa Fe Hill Gray. Who's Brown? Morning Star Angeline. Morning Star Angeline. I've heard that name somewhere. And then we got Black Horse Low. Black Horse Low. Let's start with you, Black Horse. Uh, tell us about the movie because you were featured in the uh, the cinema showcase. Uh, well, yeah, well, part yeah, Native Center Showcase, yeah, we played last night at 8 o'clock, Chasing the Light. Chasing the Light, tell, tell me more about that. It's kind of a psychedelic romantic comedy, I guess, like based in Albuquerque, just hang out with a lot of natives, <laughs> take some drugs, make some art, listen to some music, just, uh, you know, have a whole different experience in terms of the native world. I could have fit right into one of those You could have been one of those people, man, that's who are all these, like, all these lovely, vivid personalities that the city has to offer. And more to start telling me more about what, what you do. I'm an actress. You're an actress? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got that acting crew here. Okay. Yeah. So um, we did we did Drum Town's Finest, which screened, I think, oh, last yeah, yeah, year. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just here to support this year. But okay. And tell me and tell me about uh, what's going on in film. Because I, I noticed a lot of young people, uh, it used to be that we couldn't really get involved because of the you know prohibitive costs, but now it's kind of, you know, if you, if you have the desire, oh, there's yeah, nothing really holding you back. Yeah, I was living in L.A. and I moved out to, to Albuquerque for that reason, just because it's, the Albuquerque scene is so welcoming to natives and there's so much better representation here. So it's really nice to see that. And like I said, like films like Black Horses where it's like different genres of native film, like we don't always need to be the native film. We can like write all these different kinds of stories. And Darren, I missed your show. Sorry about that, but, but, but hey, that's why. Last night was the opening. Yes. It's called Moving Fire. Moving Fire. Yes, that's the title of the show. And it's uh, about 24 new pieces of work, two-dimensional painting, uh, executed over maybe the last year. And it's my, I'm calling it my com coming out show. I've been away from the market, just gone for about three years. Yeah. I just had to take a break. I, 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 the analogy is like, like a treadmill. You know, a successful artist is on a treadmill just to produce, keep up with deadlines and all. I, I went away. I just said goodbye. And it's been really good for, good for you. It's been my first time in my 35-year career as an artist painter where I just got off the treadmill. And it was really good for my resurgence as new work. So lot, lots going on in my life personally. And, uh, so that's, that, 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 going forward, that, that's going to be your focus is to really just move, move, fire. move fire. Move yeah. fire. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you got up next? Another psychedelic comedy. Come here, I got a Cody Lightning. Oh, yeah, Cody. Cody. What? Huh? Again? <laughs> this guy again? Is uh, Daniel Hyde? He's gonna produce the film Chasing Lights. So we're, okay. we're looking we at a feature yeah. next, hopefully here pretty soon. I'm a big uh, fan of myself. So we've got all the like suspects right here. No, we are here. We're looking at a lot of shit going on. So a lot of stuff. Something good for each time. Werewolf. Outer space stuff. Out of space stuff. It's gonna be like a spear that fire, fires every direction. That's the only way it can happen in space. Yeah, yeah. Really good writer. Yeah, is he again? Yeah, my man. Yeah. Hey, we ran your interview today. You and your mom. Cool. Today, so it's already out there. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Yeah, thanks a lot. Ha ha ha!